Yo, what up, everybody? This was sent to me by Luke Chapman. I've seen this guy's videos before. I forget his name. You've probably seen him if you're up on this stuff. Uh, he was trespassed from a courthouse. Listen. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, out here at the federal courthouse. Uh, I was physically removed from the courthouse. Uh, my phone was taken from me briefly. Uh, I, I, now, I, I now have the phone. Um, but they physically removed me. I asked, look, I went to court when they trespassed me. Um, nobody showed up from the marshal's office. Um, and the, the trespass charge was dismissed. I'm here at the federal courthouse now. And they physically removed me uh, as I went in and I showed my ID. Uh, one of the young ladies uh, uh, that works here checked my ID and said, no, you're, you're, you're still not allowed in. Uh, I, I objected to it, and I said I'm not going anywhere. So this guy was trespassed from a federal courthouse. I remember watching that video. And then I guess he had a trial over it, and when he went to the trial, the people who charged him with trespass didn't show up, so it was dismissed. The witness didn't show up, right? So now he tries to go back in there, and now they still won't let him in there. They grabbed me. They physically removed me. They grabbed my phone from me. Uh, I do have the... Uh uh, the camera, the camera was on, uh, but right now they're just guarding the doors saying that I cannot come in guarding the doors so you can't get in. The reason I started recording this because I want you to see this part of the video where he actually sees one of the judges he faced before being childish. As many of you know, some of you have, have seen me deal with these folks before. I've never been uh, violent. I've never, I've never, uh, uh, cursed at them. I've never raised my voice. So, uh, Federico. Oh, God, look. Who are you? Federico, Judge Federico. Judge Federico. Yeah. What's your name? You don't remember me? I'm Joshua Martinez. No, but hey, I see I got a report. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You, you threatened me with contempt for asking constitutional questions in court. 25 oh, you're days. one of those constitutionalists, huh? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're one of those constitutionalists. This is a man, people, who is a judge who swore an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. And now he's going around calling this guy a constitutionalist as if it's a bad thing. I've heard police say this also. Police also swear an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. So this is who's a judge in America. For all you people who say, oh, just take it to court, man. Just take it to court as if you just take it to court and all of a sudden they become objective people. You hear this guy. This is a judge who threatened the other guy with violence, contempt, because he was bringing up constitutional arguments and questions. Hey, you're, not, hey, you're not a constitutionalist? You got to uh, you address me when you go in here. Yeah, oh yeah. See, he asked him, you're not a constitutionalist? I did last time. Wow, what a small world. You see how they're always cowardly and run away when they're faced with actual legitimate concerns and questions that go against their narrative? There goes the judge that threatened me with contempt. He calls me, oh, you're one of those constitutionalists, and, and he's not. Whenever you, whenever you preach this, whenever you back this up. That's like holy water carrying around a constitution like that. Or back your arguments up with this. Look how they treat you. They make fun of you. It's, it's actually a bad thing to be an American today. It's a bad thing to be an American today. He's right. It's a bad thing to know the core principles of America instead of the new liberal socialist BS they have us believing in now. So it's funny to be a, a founding father type who likes the Constitution and freedom from government. Now it's a, it's a joke. In this justice system. So I'm going to take a break, guys. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll keep you guys. So there you go. He was at the courthouse. I remember watching the video. He was with a bunch of people and they trespassed him basically for no reason, if I can remember correctly. So then I guess he appealed, went and had a court uh, a hearing. The people who charged him with trespass are too cowardly to show up, you know, the guys with guns, because they know they were wrong and they were just doing, uh, enforcing their opinion like usual. And so he went to the trial. They didn't show up. The trespassing gets dismissed. He tries to go in the court today to witness one of his friend's trials and to sit in the audience, and they won't let him in because they ran his license and said he's not allowed in there, even though he had a hearing. So the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing, so this guy's rights get violated over and over again. And to put the icing on the cake and the cherry on top, the judge that happened to threaten him with contempt starts laughing at him, say, oh, you're one of those constitutionalists. 
yeah, I'm one of those guys that uh, adheres to the document you swore an oath to, Judge. Uh, this is, see, I get fired up here. All right, everybody. I forgot this guy's name, but remember his face. You'll see his videos on YouTube. He's a really good guy, and he knows what he's doing, and he's also fighting for freedom. And this was sent to me by Luke. Thanks, Luke. I'm going to try to cover a lot of the stuff you send me because it's good stuff. All right, bye.